Back to the charts with Big Boss Crypto and today we will look at the top 3 altcoin gems in the crypto space that will possibly make you rich for life. We will walk through to you the fundamentals behind each project and why they are unbeatable and will dominate the world after a great reset. So without further ado, let's look at the charts. Okay, so our first coin is actually our favorite coin, which is none other than Chainlink. And as you can see here on the World Economic Forum's website, Chainlink is basically a decentralized Oracle network that enables smart contracts to securely access off-chain data feeds, web APIs, and traditional bank payments. And uh, basically, uh, on the website, you can see that the World Economic Forum are very bull bullish on Chainlink, with an interesting article written written on the website right here as being the missing link between blockchains and enterprises. And basically this shows with the World Economic Forum being bullish on blockchain as well in the fourth industrial revolution, even Klaus Schwab himself is looking at Chainlink as he has written about them in his book, The Fourth Industrial Revolution, as being the gap between blockchain and the real world. Thus they need Chainlink to basically bridge the gap and bring forth their plans and vision that they have. And also, uh, if we can look at the web free services infographic right here, basically Chainlink has the business plan and vision of basically being a monopoly in the smart contract space, having thousands of users, secured dozens of billions, enabled the entire DeFi industry, and partner with the biggest banking uh, enterprises in the world like Swift, for example, and securing the former CEO Google himself as an advisor to help build and scale Chainlink to become the most dominant crypto project in the space. Especially in this macroeconomic period right now, with the recession, with the, the inflation, this is truly amazing and it's extremely bullish for the project. And take a look what that Eric Schmidt himself said about Chainlink. The companies that won in Web 2 were better technology, they put more capital to work, and they moved faster, and they scaled faster. And, in these, and these are network businesses, so once you get a little bit ahead, it's very hard to catch up to the person ahead of you. And in your case, because you were early and very smart, obviously, you got in there first. So you see it from the standpoint of the, the, the person who's ahead. So I think that, that in in Web3, you're going to see the same dynamic, right, of new things entering. And the winners, and I think this is absolutely true of Chainlink, um, they have better technology, as you said, and it scales better. That's, I'm now speaking as a computer scientist. Um, you've got to get the architecture right so you can go from 10 users to 10 million users. Moving on to our second favorite project, it is actually Ripple or XRP. And as you can see here on the World Economic Forum's website, Ripple is doing for value what the internet did for information basically enable instant and seamless money flow transfer around the world with Ripple having the goal of moving moving money like as the in terms of value by basically utilizing XRP blockchain cryptocurrency technology to move money at the speed of the internet and this is highly needed and has a very big use case like the big institutions like BIS Bank of International Settlements and the IMF the International Monetary Fund they're all looking at Ripple and XRP as basically the modern day system we have as of right now without blockchain, it money transfers take way too long. It can even take days if you have to transfer your money outside of your own country and weeks even. And there's also a risk that the money you transfer might not even end up in the right location that, as you want to. So this is why Ripple and XRP will have its uh, dominant space in the crypto industry as basically providing global liquidity around the world with the help of XRP. And finally, we got our third and one of our favorite altcoin projects being Hedera Hashgraph with its cryptocurrency being HBAR. And basically Hedera is a decentralized enterprise grade public network on which anyone can build secure and fair applications with near real time finality, with the platform being owned and governed by accounts of the world's leading organizations. And we are talking about the biggest enterprise and companies in the world being on the governing council of Hedera. Just take a look at this chart right here. We got companies like Boeing, Chainlink Labs, Deutsche Telekom, one of the biggest telecom companies in the world and the biggest in Germany. We got 
Google. I mean, Google aren't the governing council. We got IBM, LG, Nomura, Nomura, Shina Bank, Standard Bank, Ubisoft, one of the biggest game companies in the world. I mean, see what I mean right here. They're all looking at Hedera and they're all keen on the Hashgraph technology as being part of the future after the Great Reset and the Fourth Industrial Revolution. As basically Hashgraph is light years ahead of most crypto projects these days. Like, you can't even compare the Hashgraph technology against Bitcoin and Ethereum in terms of efficiency. I mean, uh, environment, environmental impact as well, being much more environmental friendly, which is part of the green agenda as well. So we definitely see HBAR being one of the most dominant crypto projects in the space. That's all for me. Thank you so much for your time. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed our video or leave a dislike if you didn't. Please leave a follow on our Twitter right here, which is Big Boss Crypto 11 on our Twitter handle right here. And remember that none of this is financial or investment advice. This is only for educational and entertainment purposes only. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Big Boss out.